three, two, one. What's going on YouTube? This is yours truly, Adre the Plug, reporting live with some more technical heat. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button below. Make sure y'all hit that bell below so y'all can stay notified every single time I drop new technical heat. But let's get into it, man. Let's jump right back into these interviews. I just finished a whole bunch of sponsorship product videos, so definitely go check all of those out. Some of them I've never even seen in person, so I thought it was really, really dope. And then on top of that, also did a couple of electronic projects so definitely go check out those previous videos i did but now i'm about to jump right back into all my interview videos where i interview different people all across the country let's get into it roll the clip hey youtube my name is demora hunt i went to the prairie view a and university in prairie view texas right outside of houston uh there i studied mechanical engineering i've always wanted to be a mechanical engineer uh, or maybe I shouldn't say mechanical engineer, but I've always wanted to be an engineer. I wanted to do aeronautical or aerospace engineering, but Prairie View didn't have that. So I was like, I might as well be a mechanical engineer. Um, I've always loved building stuff with my hands, breaking stuff, putting it back together, troubleshooting. I always loved doing that type of stuff. Uh, after graduating in 2019, I moved from Houston to Dallas and I'm currently working for Raytheon as a mechanical engineer. All right, Demora, so why did you choose mechanical engineer? So I wanted to become a mechanical engineer because I've always loved building things. I've always loved breaking things apart. Uh, my dad recently showed me a video of I made basically like a, a hose when I was like five years old in the bathtub uh with some random parts that i found so i was always making things uh it just makes me happy and i love doing that i wanted to do aeronautical or aerospace engineering but prairie view didn't have that so i decided to do mechanical and i feel like that was a really good choice it's very broad um it's very diverse you can do a lot of things with it and i feel like i'll never go without having a job all right, Demora, what's something that you did not expect jumping into mechanical engineering and working for Raytheon and Lockheed? So I didn't expect to be able to have off every other Friday. That was something that was pretty cool to me, uh, especially during summertime, that's nice. Also, the expectation from upper management to sometimes work on the weekends. Um, yeah, that kind of stinks sometimes, but you want to get that visibility you want to be a team player. You want to be able to show that you're a hardworking player, you know, just as hardworking as everybody else on the team. So sometimes you do have to do that. But they also reward us with, uh, you know, they pay for our lunch when we come in on the weekends and we do happy hours. So I feel like the morale is there as well, not just the hard work and the effort that we put in. So it's really nice to work for a company that's so rewarding and they see you as not a number, but as an individual. I also didn't expect for there to be different uh, pockets of communities. So just like in school and college, when you have fraternities, sororities or organizations, there's organizations that they call like ERGs or um, infinity groups for different people. So they have stuff for African-Americans, they have stuff for Hispanics, they have a women's network, they have a veterans network. So you're able to branch off and network, do community service, uh, just really get to see the different type of people and the diversity that they have at these companies. So I'm not sure if every company does that, but I know a lot of the defense companies do. All right, so what's your take on being a black woman in engineering? I thought school was hard. Real life was actually harder. Um, in school, everyone looks like you, especially going to HBCU. Everyone looks like you. 
yes, most of your class is made up of men, but at least they look like you. They're black men or Hispanics. Um, outside, when you get to the real world, it's totally different. You think about your hairstyles, your maybe your jewelry, your attire, you know, what you're wearing. Uh, you got a code switch, you know, you got to be able to turn it on and off. Um, I'm the only mechanical woman on my team that's a black woman, the only one. And I'm reminded about that every day. Uh, what I do recommend to people out there who, you know, if you're the only black man or you're the only black woman to get a mentor, your mentor doesn't have to be in your field. Uh, they can, but at least need to work in your company. They don't need to be on your team, but at least work in your company. So you're able to vent to them. They can coach you, um, you know, through maybe tough situations that you're having. Um, just be able to really guide you because you don't know everything. Um, and also I like to say, wear those braids, wear your natural hair. Don't always, you know, wear wigs or straight hair just because you want to fit in. Be you and they need to accept you for who you are. All right, so if you went back in time, what's some advice that you would have told yourself jumping into mechanical engineering? Like, what's some things that you feel like that would give you the leg up versus knowing everything you know today? I would have to tell my younger self that you can do it. You can do it. Don't give up. Don't compare yourself to others. Go to tutorials regularly. Go to your professor's office hours. Always seek help. Don't be afraid to ask for help, ask questions in class, um, and put in those extra hours. Okay, Demora, so what was the process when it came down to actually getting in with Raytheon? I'm a huge advocate for networking. Um, at Prairie View, I learned it's not what you know, it's who you know. So I all, I took that model and ran with it. So I was always networking with people. I love to talk, so that was never a problem. Um, my first job I got at college was crazy because the guy who actually hired me had came to Prairie View at least twice. And I would always run up to him, give him my resume, always talk to him before or after we had our sessions. And I just wanted to make sure he knew who I was, that I was serious about getting a job and that I was ready to work. And I ended up going to BEA, which is Black Engineer of the Year Award. And I saw him there and he ended up offering me a job on the spot. So that was a blessing. And I thank God for that till this day. Um, as far as with Raytheon, networking. Um, your network is your net worth. And so just networking with people, making mentors, um, being, a, being a mentor to people, just being able to have that open line of communication with any and everybody, because you never know who you're gonna run into. You never know who you're gonna need and who you can help. So I definitely, Preach that, I will always preach that because it's true. And that's the advice I will give to anybody looking for a job to, yes, of course, do the work, have the grades, but network and talk to people. All right, Demar, so what exactly do you do as a mechanical engineer at Raytheon? So since I do work for a defense company, a lot of our stuff is pretty secret. So I can't say everything that we do, but pretty much I wear, um, bunny suit so it's like a Tyvex white suit that you wear that covers you from head to toe put gloves on goggles and this helps to protect against fog um which is like you know dust and debris um and it's necessary because I work with lasers and so any bit of fog that gets on the optics or the lens it the lens uh is fatal. So it's really important that we stay clean. We have different clean rooms that we go into. They actually just built a new one called the AIM Center. Don't ask me what it stands for, I forget. But um, yeah, we have like 
high tech um, operation rooms. We work with optical engineers, electrical engineers, everybody just to get the job done and be able to get these lasers out. So I remember one thing that you said you wanted to touch on was internships and why they were important. So at Lockheed, as well as now at Raytheon, I help with recruiting. And it is really important to have some type of experience. I know there's a lot of jokes behind it saying, you know, you want to get hired, but you don't have any experience because people won't give you experience. But you need to get an internship or if you don't have an internship, I would say work on campus. Work on campus in the labs, for, ask your professors what type of research projects can you do for them. Um, maybe even help with the senior design classes, like peek into there and see what they're working on and try to maybe help or pitch in, lend a hand. We see all those things on your resume and it's really important. We see the different type of areas you've worked in. We see um, who you've worked for and we see if you have leadership ability, if you're able to communicate well, all of that, we can read that on your resume. So I just think that that's really important. All right, Demora, tell the people the benefits of being in an organization on campus. So when you're part of different organizations, it just really helps to show that you're a leader, that you're able to be organized, that you're able to balance your time between your organizations and your schoolwork. So that's also going to come in handy when you are in the professional world with your workload and you know your personal life or being a part of organizations at work. So it's practice basically for the real world. All right, Amor, you say you've been working at Raytheon a little bit. What are some of the most interesting jobs that you've heard of over there? Because I know they do a lot of interesting things at Raytheon. Yeah, so uh, like I said, I work on lasers and I've never have imagined that I have ever would have worked on lasers. Um, a lot of people I know have worked with radars, uh, troubleshooting them, building them, testing them, going out to um, the customer and also building missiles. So those are the things that caught my eyes and I just never would imagine that those would be things that we actually work on from coming from Prairie View and graduating to being in the workforce and actually really putting our hands on these awesome types of material. All right, Amora, so what's your social media for all of the people out there that want to stay in touch with you and get some updates? So probably get some tips about getting into Raytheon or Lockheed. Yeah, sure. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok at dimples101 underscore and on LinkedIn at Demora Hunt. And if you have any questions or want me to look at your resume or just want to talk about, you know, your career, hit me up. I'm an open book. Thank you. And that concludes this video. Don't forget to comment like and subscribe it really do help my channel when it comes down to the youtube algorithm if you guys have any questions regarding anything just hit me up on instagram hit me up on the gram at dre the plug one two three and then also go check out my other youtube channel this is actually my second channel my first one was called andre classic cuts i basically go in and give tutorials about all types of different haircuts I actually show people how to do different type of things with the clippers that has never been done. And I pretty much go into detail as to why certain things happen. So definitely go check out that channel. Besides that, be on the lookout for my next content that's dropping. Be on the lookout for it because it's coming real soon. And I'm out.